hey guys welcome back to deep coding and uh, uh, the last update of OpenSSL in Termix completely ruined my cryptography module by cryptography um, I was actually installing cryptography and uh, at the same time um, updated my OpenSSL so um, and then I after installing, I mean, after updating my OpenSSL, I tried to install my Pico cryptography module and uh, came in front of this issue saying engine error DSA stuff. So I, I think you might know uh, what is an engine in our uh, OpenSSL. So it's basically a container contains all the um, cryptographic modules like DSA or say that's the container of our PyCorruptography module so that's an important module um, I mean that's an important container uh, which contains our DSA RSA stuff and some ciphers too so engineer means those we can't even access all those cryptographic modules if we are in front of this engine error so uh, this basically happened in Termix due to the reason that there is um, a no engine configuration in our OpenSSL. Um, so we need to patch it uh, before using the Pico cryptography. Then only we are able to uh, use the Pico cryptography. So the patch is very simple. We don't have to upgrade or downgrade the existing OpenSSL package in our Termix. We just need to configure um, something in our configuration of OpenSSL and things are very straightforward. I'm going to walk you through the procedure and thanks for XCFR, XCFR, I don't know whether I'm pronouncing correctly. Um, in GitHub he provided the um, um, architectures, I mean ARM packages of this um, OpenSSL with um, engine, no engine. Okay, okay, now we are going to set up that thing. So I've provided the link uh, of those three packages uh, OpenSSL, OpenSSL development package, and OpenSSL tools in my video description. So you, you have to download all these three things um, according to your architecture. Uh, I'm using ARM, so 32 bit. So I, I downloaded all the all these three uh, packages. So I uh, just I'm using ESL Explorer by the way. So I extracted it and uh, I have this debug file. Um, so development package and then the OpenSSL tools. So all these configuration files needs to be installed and it's very straightforward now. Um, so let me go into my storage where I play, placed all these things. Okay, I'm currently in that mo um, directory so let me go into the first OpenSSL directory I hope you already installed OpenSSL so oops, that's the development package I'm sorry so we need to first install the OpenSSL and uh, if you go to ls you can see it's OpenSSL 1.1 1 .1 and this is just a configuration as I already mentioned we are not even replacing you or upgrading or downgrading our existing package so install the OpenSSL first and then we can head towards this process so uh, now we can use uh, Gadget Paint Package Manager dash I for install 
and then open a cell dot to pain so that's it okay we are using the Depain package manager and then dash i for install and then the package name and then we installed that OpenSSL 1.1.1.2 and the same like this we need to install the uh, tool so let me get into the directory So I'm in the directory where I placed the OpenSSL dash tool. So likewise, we're installing the tool by the package, main package manager dash i. And uh, yep, and that's it. Yeah, we successfully installed the OpenSSL dash tool. And likewise. Now we need to install the uh, development package. Should have installed that second layer. That does that doesn't matter really. So let me go into the other directory where I placed the development package. It's really frustrating. Hey? Okay, I'm in the directory openSSL dash dev. So I'm going to install that dash i for install. It's really straightforward. And we installed all these three things, and now we are now we are completely free from that error engine error. Um, we are currently using the no engine I mean we deleted the no engine um, I mean we can re we currently replaced the configuration so uh, the Termix was using um, no engine open SSL configuration so cryptography wasn't suitable uh, with that no engine stuff uh, no engine configuration so we replaced it and now we are good to go now you can head to the installation process of cryptography now let me show you that pip install cryptography and I already installed it so it has the cache um, so yeah successfully installed cryptography now um, and uh, I will not update my pip to 18.0 so I think you might saw my previous video um, saying about a bug in pip 18.0 it was actually replacing my um, pip uh, python 2 environment so it was really so I downgraded my pip to 10.0 itself um, watch that video uh, my previous video so then you will get a clear picture of what I'm saying here so that's it for this video and if you do have any questions you can write down in the comment section and you can download those packages from the description as well and thank you all for watching